We're trying Jamaican French fusion dishes. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to taste some Jamaican and French food mashups, but first, we all come from different backgrounds and have different needs, which is why finding a therapist that matches with you is important. And that's why this portion of today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes it easier than ever to find a therapist that will connect with you and understand your needs. In fact, BetterHelp has a network of over 30,000 therapists, which means an even wider selection for you to find your best match because sometimes finding the right therapist can take a little trial and error. What's great about BetterHelp is when you do go through that trial and error, you will never have to worry about additional cost or figuring out who's in your network. And you can get started today by visiting our link BetterHelp.com slash GoodMythicalMorning. To get started, just fill out the questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist. In most cases, it takes 48 hours or less. The therapists are all licensed and have been trained to give you helpful, unbiased advice, and signing up is easy. Plus, if you're someone who finds in-person therapy uncomfortable or daunting, BetterHelp might be the answer. With BetterHelp, you can do whatever version of therapy is most comfortable for you, whether that's a phone call, a video chat, or even via messaging. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning to get 10% off your first month. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. And now, Rhett, for all the marbles, what do souffles and jerk chicken have in common? Uh, uh, That's right, nothing. Which is why the mythical kitchen, okay, <laughs> has combined Jamaican and French cuisine together to see if we can find some tasty common ground between them. It's time for French Jamaican versus Jamaican French. Vive la Rastatouille. We put today's French Jamaican versus Jamaican French matchups on our Instagram, and the Mythical Beast voted on which dishes they thought you'd like better. Now we'll see how well the Beast can predict your tastes. And the last three times we've done this, mm -hmm. you lost. Yeah. So sad. Uh, what is this? Do we need to find new fans? You don't know us. I don't think we do. We don't want to, but it would be hard to do that. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We, we really don't want to. Right. So we hope that you get this right. Please. We're pulling for you. Please. Okay. First up, we've got camembert Jamaican patties versus curry goat terrine. Okay. Okay. Curry Tell us about these goat. patties, V. It's a flaky spice dough filled with melted camembert cheese filling. And okay. that's it. So come on bear. So these is, patties are definitely like, you've been in Jamaica. They they have these on the street. You can get them everywhere. I spent my honeymoon in Jamaica. But I haven't had one with a come bear. This is good. There's like a, what's in that bread? It is curry spice. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. A really nice mix. Really works well curry together. And cheese. Mm. That's great. Now this is something different over mm. here. Yes. It looks like jello. It's actually a slow cooked curry goat mix with gelatin molded into a terrine to make a loaf. So a terrine is like just a, a jelly slab? It's a forced meat loaf. Forced? Forced. But it's so gelatinous. How much force did you use? All my might. Um, I'm gonna go for the full, all the layers. Why is it so cold? Yeah, this, I mean. Yeah. The this tastes is, are this good, is good though. It's just. If it was hot, it maybe probably, we melted the whole thing down. Probably wouldn't sit up. Yeah, the, um, the goat meat, I like. It's very good. This is easy though, right? I mean. I would just say the French, they messed this one up for Jamaica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this right here is just. I think y'all got this one right though. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling I good. I mean, patties, y'all know us, patties. 81% of the Mythical Beasts thought that you'd like the Camembert Jamaican patties better. Okay, we're off to a good start. So good, so good. Make these at a party. A little finger food. Yeah, sure. Next up, we have Frog Leg Stamp and Go versus Saltfish and Aki Crepe. Got Stamp and Go? What is Stamp and Go? Stamp and Go is a ground frog 
leg fritter made with spices, scotch bonnet, flour, and veggies, and it's fried and lightly salted. Oh, dang. So we got frog legs. We got, it's basically a fritter with frog legs and scotch bonnet peppers in it, so it's a little spicy. But typically a stamp and go doesn't have yeah, frogs. Because the frogs is from the France. I'll tell you, I mean, French is known for its cuisine. But they, they do a lot of things really, really well. They do. It's not playing well in my mind right now, though. Greasy. But if you're gonna have frog legs. Spicy. Putting it into something like this is definitely the way to do it. We've had frog legs on this show at least once and we just ate a frog leg. Yeah, that was bad. You've hidden the frog legs really well. I'm assuming that it's the chewy stuff that's not going down yet. No, it's actually normally made with salt fish or salted cod. Okay. I think this is pretty dang good. It's kind of like cornbread. It's the best frog leg I've ever had. Mm hmm. I like it. Now, this is like a crepe? Yes, it's an ultra thin, savory pancake folded with sauteed ackee, salted fish, chunks, and aromatics. Got some aromatics. Should we just pick the whole thing up, V, or should we slice it? I would slice it and then fork it and put it in your mouth. Okay. And then, then chew it? Yes. And then swallow it? And then what happens after we swallow it? Uh, you poop later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Digest it. Don't talk about that. Huh. Fish is mild, which is nice. Thank you. It's so mild. What, what, are, the, what are these yellow parts? That's the ackee. What, and what is that? It's a fruit. That's a fruit? fruit? So that's like a fruit from Jamaica? Yes, it's a salted fruit. It kind of tastes like um, peas. I would never have guessed that was a fruit. There's not a whole lot to get excited about. It's too, it's too mild for me. A fruit that tastes like peas? I'm pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a lot of great things to look forward to. some mild fish? As you get older and older. This I'll does taste you, good. I'll bring you the most bland and mild food as you age. But yeah, best frog legs I ever had. Stamp it. This is interesting. Stamp and go. So spicy. Is that what it's called? Stamp and go? Stamp yeah. and they stamp, stamp and it and then go. Mm -hmm. Super close on this one. 53% of the mythical beasts thought that you'd like the frog leg stamp and go better. You're back with us. Yes. You see us. <laughs> Next, we have truffle oil jerk chicken wings versus jerk seasoned escargot. Snails? No. Snails? No. Escargot. Escargot? So jerk seasoned, what would you say? Truffle oil. Truffle oil. So it's basically a jerk chicken with truffle oil. Anything else happening in there that we should know about? I don't know. Uh, they're wet brine chicken wings fried and tossed in a truffle oil based jerk sauce. Dang! Truffle and jerk? Ooh, that, that grips the tongue. And it oh, like man. That. that is incredible. That's wow. one of the most unique flavor combinations oh. I've ever experienced. And it's very spicy, as Woo. Nick is demonstrating right now. It is, it is an aromatic spice. <clears throat> but also that, which I guess is just the jerk. Yeah, oh. but the truffle, like... who that's strong. Woo, that's strong. The truffle sends it somewhere. Man. Like into a deep darkness. I'm a big, big fan of that. I like sending it right into my mouth. Woo. I um, mean, it's it don't, it's like an, <clears throat> it's like it's caffeinated. It's, it's got such a punch. Is it caffeinated? No. Link is not caffeinated. I said it's as if it's caffeinated. Well, I wanted to check for you. Well, thank um, you for checking. Okay, so we've got some escargot. Oh, gosh. Woo! You Woo! Won't it's you, hot. You won't taste a thing because your mouth's so hot. So it tastes like hot Christmas. What? Um, <laughs> like Christmas in Australia? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Get it? Because of the hemisphere. Now, so what did you what did you do over here with these? They're grilled snails, sautéed in jerk butter. Oh wow! How now, many snails are in a one of those? Is this one snail? That's one. Yes, snail. it is one snail. They pluck it right out of the shell. They're not bad at all. They just taste like whatever they're they're made in. I just don't like the idea of it. They um, squirm around. Then they stop. 
Um, I'm still tasting so much of this. Yeah. I really, I, I'm a fan of escargot because I just like garlic and butter typically. This is a little, this is an interesting little twist. <clears throat> but there's jerk in, on both of these. Yes. Um, this is just sort of a revelation. It's, mixing these two things. It's so, what's a good word for pungent? Because it's got this pungency. Pungent uh, said a little bit louder than normal. Uh, or just nicer, like pungent. Uh, pungent. It's so pungent. Um, Flag it. Serious. You you had to know. If you didn't pick this, then. And this is going to seal the deal for you. Who you're back you? on the winning side Who if you're right. You? Who are you? 85% of the mythical beasts thought you'd like the truffle oil jerk wings better. Of course. Now, I will say that these snails, not horrible. It was okay. It was fine. We've got an okay from Link. For snails, that's pretty great. Mm -hmm. And finally, we've got orange Cointreau peanut drops versus tamarind ball cro 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 Kimbush. Yeah, Kimbush. Kimbush, yeah. Boosh, emphasis Boosh. on the boosh. So Jamaican peanut drops. Peanut drops. I've never had those. What, what's different about these? So the Cointreau peanut drops are roasted peanuts, ginger, Cointreau triple sec liquor, water and spices cooked down to a syrup and formed into a mini peanut cake. It's kind of like peanut brittle, but it's not brittle. The peanuts are completely um, sugarfied. Tastes good. You know how much we like peanuts. You said quattro? Quanto. What is it? Quantro. Quantro. It's Quantro. a it's a li liqueur. No, that's that new that's that new Ford. <laughs> Ford Quantro. It's an EV. You know, it's French. That new truck. I got myself a Quantro. <clears throat> These are good. It's, kind of, it's it's sort of like okay, like it tastes it tastes good. It's like sugar peanuts. But I'm kind of like, what else you got? You know what I'm saying? That's well, what we I got. Say. This. Oh, great. this is what we got. I still don't know exactly. So the cream puff part of this is French. Croque and bouche. But you've put what's what's so Jamaican about it? It's a puff pastry filled with tamarind pastry cream piled tamarind. on top of each other and bound with threads of tamarind-based caramel. Oh, so the tamarind is the Jamaican part here. And look, I got a lot on that. Is tamarind like a oh, a popular name too? Because it should be. Tamarind. Tamarind? You get down from there. It's like Cameron and Tamara together. I don't know if Tamara was the name. Tamarind, it is time to go to bed. This is good. Really good. Is tamarind a... No one's coming a, to your party, tamarind. It's a Jamaican fruit. Because you're a little jerk. I mean, I only went to Jamaica for my honeymoon, so... I drank a lot of Red Stripe. I climbed up a waterfall. Oh, look at you. I didn't really eat any of this stuff. I didn't experience much outside of the... <laughs> Honeymoon sweet, you know? The fan in the sheets. <laughs> yeah, fan in those sheets, man. Um, this is this is good. This is has some different components that I can pick apart, do it, as French and Jamaican more than that. So that's where our vote's going. 53% of the mythical beasts thought that you'd like the orange mm. Cointreau peanut drops better. Well, well you, you can't be perfect. They've still won, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you have to write them an acrostic poem during well, we will, Good Mescal It would be our pleasure to do that. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Pauline. And I'm Avril. And we're at the Chateau de Chenonceau in France. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. Oh, there was a Chateau de Chenonceau. I know the way you say it. They were at the Chateau de Chenonceau. Click it down link to what just named the ABCs of GMM with good <laughs> mythical ball. And if I don't want to win them, I kind of want to win The weather outside might be frightful, but this mug is so delightful. Shop the new sweater weather mug at mythical.com.